not still. Remember the Lord far off and let Jerusalem come into your mind. Yeah, let Jerusalem come into your mind. We are confounded because we have heard reproach. Shame have covered our faces. For strangers are come into the sanctuary of the Lord's house. Right now you have strangers over there in the act. This right here, this is Jerusalem right here. But over there in the actual Jerusalem, in the land of Israel, there's strangers is occupying that illegally. You know what I'm saying? You know where the real Jews? You didn't know that, did you? <laughs> See, the so-called Jews in the state of Israel, they're not the real Jews. They're a bunch of cocksuckers. They're a bunch of fornicators. A bunch of damn uh, infiltrators. Fucking, there's no word. Imposters. Those are, bitches. Uh, plagiarizers. What? Bitches, yeah. <laughs> Faggots. But I also like uh, Isaiah 44 and 5. One shall say, I am the Lord's. And another shall call himself by the name of Jacob. And another shall subscribe, subscribe with his hand unto the Lord and surname himself by the name of Israel. Oh, that's powerful. What's up, man? So where y'all from? You from China? Yeah. Okay. Come on, come on. Speak English. You want to talk to some? Come on, come here. Are uh, you scared? Or oh, America, man, scary. Yeah, man, both them hoes are thick as hell. Man, look at all these Chinese people over here. Shit is crazy, man. So you got all these Chinese people coming over here. You got all these heathens coming here, taking all your jobs, taking all your money, taking over your neighborhoods. But that's good though, because all this shit's gonna be destroyed anyway, man. These heathens gonna be destroyed unless they part of the elect. They're gonna be destroyed, man. There might be one or two of them motherfucking gooks come over here. They might be one of the other. Yeah, because you got, Lord might bring some of them heathens over here because they might actually be our people. Like the scripture said, we ate our bread defiled among the heathen. You know what I mean? So you're gonna have some of our people that look like Chinese people. They, they look like a Hindu. You know what I mean? They look like a, a goddamn African or a. Or, or Arab or a Muslim. Looks they like be, a Jew. They be lost. They think Islam's the truth. But we gotta teach them the right way. What? what? What'd Israel you say? Look like a fake Jew. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you even even though them so them so-called Jews, they're a bunch of devils. Okay, they're they're a bunch of uh, fucking faggots and devil worshippers. But some of our people are scattered among them too. Beastie boys ain't no goddamn. They said the beastie boys. Yeah. Oh the beastie boys? We're gonna screw that color back in. Well, the Beastie Boys, they was down, they, they was some pioneers and rap music. They had to be Israelites. Yeah, yeah, they had to be Jakes. Yeah, yeah, my son likes that shit, man. Oh, that's hard. some awful music to let your children listen to. <laughs> All they talk about is some fucking faggot, some adultery shit, and some. I'm a. You, know, they, they, you really listen to a lot of the old shit. The newer shit's better. A lot of the old shit's all about that that, that evil shit, man. Cause they, 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 any music that's put out by the music industry is satanic. I don't give a fuck what it is. It's evil. All, all, all the, the music industry is nothing but a bunch of devil worshippers. Yeah, it's just all just to brainwash your ass with that music, man. Put you in a motherfucking trance-like state, take control of your fucking mind. Yeah, it be in like bitches. Well, yeah, people listen to some rap music and go make make you go shoot somebody. You get so goddamn crunk from listening to a song and spirit. Because what happens? They put spirits on the records. They when they record a record, they they'll, they'll have like a, a satanic ceremony at the record label, and all the uh, executives were all so-called Jews, uh, rabbis oh, and yeah. shit. They come out. And they put uh, they put hexes on the album, and they put they summon up demons, and they put demons into the uh, into the CDs. What's that devil? Uh, Rick Rubin do that shit. Yeah, all you want to look at Rick Rubin, and he was a uh, yeah. Rick Rubin produced the Beastie Boys. He looked like Gandalf. Run DMC. Yeah, yeah he like Gandalf. They, like now. goddamn fat. No, a fat Gandalf. But well, Gandalf's a homosexual. Ian Clellan, whatever the fuck, a faggot. Yep. Oh yeah, he produced LL Cool J. He, uh, Run DMC. He produced uh, yeah, Run DMC, Dan Jay Z, Jay Danzig, D Jay Z, Metallica. He did Metallica's Death Magnetic album. So yeah, so he's definitely a devil worshiper. There's no question in that. Oh, he even did that Johnny Cash, didn't he? 
the acoustic shit. Y'all remember that? They I play that. Know. You know that acoustic Johnny like, Cash. Thing? I hurt myself. When he uh, today. yeah, he did all the covers. Rick Rubin, he's a big time. You just one look at him, you can tell he's a big, weird, fat piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? Here you go. Wherefore, behold, the days come, said the Lord, that I will do judgment upon her graven images, and through all her land the, the wounded shall groan. Though Babylon should mount up to heaven, and though she should fortify the that goes back to the height of her strength. That even go back to the Tower of Babel too. Mm -hmm. But still, so, America's a modern day yeah. Yeah, Tower of Babel. The Tower now is a Tower of Filth. You know what I'm saying? There's gooks every goddamn where you look, man. It's like we getting fucking invaded and shit. <laughs> Dude, it's like gooks. Uh, Korean War vets are getting having flashbacks. Oh shit, they're coming. You know what I mean? Are you a man? Bitch might actually look like a woman if she put on some woman's clothes. Looking like Ellen and shit. Yeah, she could look like Ellen. <laughs> Growing fucking hair. A woman's supposed to have up, long baby? hair. A woman is not supposed to have short hair, okay? They chop their shit off attention. There's, no, there's nothing attractive about a woman with short hair. Bald head, huh? I remember that old Dirty Bastard song. He's like, every, every, ever, and your long headed life had a bald headed bitch for a bald headed wife. <laughs> you remember that shit? Right. That was my shit from old DB. Willie D from Scarface, I see a ball head, huh? Oh, yeah. What you see, Dave? What you see? I see a ball head, huh? That's the old shit. I don't want to fuck with that dude right here. That's in the garden. Yet from me shall, they, so, shall spoilers come unto, unto her, said the Lord. A sound of a cry coming. All the spoilers. The spoilers start with Vladimir Putin. Okay, that's the spoiler right there. Mm. Okay, his name's Vladimir. Oh, go ahead. Well, a sound of a cry coming from Hold Dracula. Because ain't a what was Dracula's name? Was that Vladimir? Was that Vladimir? Was it Vlad? Vlad the Impaler. Vlad. So, but what was he doing? He was killing heathens. He was staking goddamn muzzles. Twin putting stakes. Staking the ass and killing them. And he was and he was a so-called and he was an Israelite and he was a so-called uh Christian. He was an Israelite. That he believed in the Bible. And he was part of some kind of secret society whose job it was was to protect the Bible. Because he was over there helping out uh, Constantinople. You know them over there. He he was fighting off the Turks. The Ottoman Turks. That was an extremist. When the right. Ottoman Turks were Edomites. Yeah, he was so, extremist. So, I, is that still going? Yeah, the Ottoman Turks were Edomites, which you don't know, like the so-called white people to control the earth. Rockefellers, Edomites. Oh, that's why the Ottoman Turks wear a fez on the head, that red hat. Okay? Uh, Harry Truman and the Shriners, the Freemasons, they wear that same hat. And that hat, the reason it's red, it goes back to a battle. The Ottoman Turks got in a battle with some Christians. Where, and uh, the, the, the hat represents the Christian blood. They, they said after the battle, after they killed all the Christians, they took the hats off their head and they dipped it in the blood. So that's why, and, and even like a lot of those Moors coming out talking about Moor science, son. They all wearing the red Fez hats. That, that, that red Fez represents your own people's blood being spilt, you stupid asshole. You know what I'm saying? They always red. You know what I'm saying? Just like your boy Polite be wearing a fez. That all go back to the Ottomans. And then they celebrating the, the, the killing of Israelites. You know what I'm saying? That's what that represents. Looking like a fucking fool. Oh, go ahead. Oh, yeah, but, uh, yeah, your boy Putin, that's, go ahead, read that. He's, the, he gonna, he's gonna come as a great destroyer. A sound of a cry coming from Babylon, and great destruction from the land of the Chaldeans. Yeah, the Chaldeans go back to the witchcraft, the sorcerers, the wizards, the warlocks, the magicians. The ma who's the magicians? The so-called Jews, the rabbi. That's your main uh, magician or warlock, okay? Uh, Kabbalists. All the ancient mysteries all go back to the Kabbalah. Okay, all the ancient evil mysteries, I should say. 
It all go back to the Kabbalah, which all goes back to ancient Babylon and the so-called Jew. Okay? That's that shit Because they had their... Because back in the uh, ancient world, they had their uh, Kabbalah schools were in Babylon. You had a large population of the rats living over there and all through Europe. You know what I'm saying? Oh, mm. uh, go ahead. Because the Lord has spoiled Babylon and destroyed out of her the great voice when her ways do roar like... Oh, yeah, waters. you know you know the Talmud. The Talmud is the so-called Jews' number one book. But when you look it up, it's actually called the Babylonian Talmud because it was written in Babylon. And that's the so-called Jews' main book. It's not the Bible. It's the Talmud, the Babylonian Talmud. The Babylon scriptures. That's what it is. Yeah. That's a, some confusion scriptures for your ass. It ain't scriptures or sentences. A bunch of, a collection of evil sentences. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, what's up? Don't be scared. And destroy it out of her the great voice when her waves do roar like great waters, a noise of their voice is heard. Because the spoiler is come upon her. Even upon Babylon and her mighty men are taken. Every one of their bones is broken. For the Lord power the power of recompenses shall surely requite. Who is that? You see that? Is that Jupiter? Well, what the hell is that? Get that on camera. Can you zoom in on that? That star or planet? No. What is that? What is that? Get, zoom that. Get that on camera. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I ain't gonna see, see that shit. That. You don't see that shit? It's just been hovering. That's not a planet, is it? Because the stars ain't even out. Yeah. Probably a satellite. It's just that one. Right? It's just chilling there. Ain't nothing else. Oh, I, I see it. it might be, that might be Jupiter. I don't know. It could be. Oh, this is bugging me out because I didn't see no other stars. Still no, don't, except for the, that one and that other one. I think it's big as fuck. Oh, go ahead, my fire interrupt. Um, because the spoiler has come upon her, even upon Babylon and her mighty men are taken. Every one of the bows is broken for the Lord. Oh, they saw the bows is broken. That goes back to this uh, weak ass American military. Everybody in the military are homosexuals. You can be a faggot now. You can be an openly homosexual in the military. You got Russia. They on the internet. You got uh, videos of the Russians laughing at Americans because the, uh, the military is number faggots. They, they laugh and say, you allow faggots in your military. They laughing at you, man. You see that dude, that dude that walked past GMS school, uh, camp in New York uh, said he was being stalked by a faggot in, uh, in the military today. Man. He was being stalked by a faggot. I ain't seen that. It's a problem with the military with these fags. It's an actual, it's like they're calling it an epidemic with these motherfuckers raping each other and shit. They can't do nothing about it. They can't stop it. It's probably part of the ritual now. You want to get promoted? Yeah, Look, that fun. dude's wearing one of them red hats you was just talking about. All right, go ahead, get it on camera. We well, just talking about the feds. Oh, damn. Yep. There it is. We can talk about yeah. it. Here we go. Hey, what's up, bro? Oh, hell, bro. That's the spirit, man. You, you know that, that. That's the spirit. You know what you that? that on you know what that fez represents? You know what that fez represents? Damn. Yo, yo, fez, yo, fez. He just came out of the law building. That's Every the time you bring something up like that, like you was talking, like that's you, the spirit, you was talking bro. about leprous. Then two, two he just lepers. came down leprous. Then talking about the fez. Then these motherfuckers on the fez. Every time, it don't never fail. Hey, yeah, it never fails, man. I'm so we was just talking about the fez, and we was talking about the black like Aladdin. We talking about black people like to wear them and call themselves boars, but they don't understand that the fez represents them getting killed. That's how stupid y'all are, man. That's good for you going to walk down the street. First of all, you're wearing a safety jacket with the with the fez. This shit look retarded as hell. If you got to be out your damn mind to walk down the street wearing a funny little hat like that, man. Really, I mean, what what's wrong with you, man? Something's wrong with your brain. That's just, it's not stylish, it's not cool looking. You look retarded wearing that shit. Y'all know America's about to be destroyed? He looks like the young Ed Boone. Looks like Harold and Kumar. Mortal oh yeah, Harold and Kumar. For the Lord power of freaking pieces shall surely be quite. And I will make drunk her princes and her wise men, her captains and her rulers and her mighty men, and they shall sleep in perpetual sleep. 
sleep, a, a sleep, a perpetual sleep. <laughs> That's a bad scripture. Hey, well, read that word that was at again. Right. Where was that at? Oh, this is Ezekiel 51 and 57. That's Ezekiel. You guys have to take what we can read. I'll get, you got a Bible? We just reading the Bible, bro. Oh, that's yeah, this is the scripture. You, teach you, it. you know, we throwing it down to the truth, though. Right. You got videos you can watch on YouTube. Yeah, you got you got the internet? Uh, my phone's up right now, but I do have a pen. I can write it down. Oh, right. yeah. The reason why we sound a little different is because we don't, we, we read the scriptures. Yeah, it's that kind of candy gold. Right. That I don't like candy gold. Right, there yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, Pastor yeah. No Law, he ain't going there. Now you got homosexual preachers. Yeah, that's bull. You know what I'm saying? Ain't crazy, man? You, you ain't Yo, supposed man. to have a woman preacher, let alone a homosexual. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is a time of awakening. But they, you know that's too. That's why I don't know why take these church. Don't know why they take these churches serious. Though, you know? That's why ain't nobody up in there. No but women. Yeah, but women. Well, I don't. I don't think. Well, check this out. Well, you are supposed to be reaching out to your community anyway. Use so Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I have it on there. I, 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 can, I can find it through Dallas. Okay, I'll just give you a couple of ads. Phone. Check it out. Go, according to the scriptures, you ain't supposed to be reaching out to your community, man. Okay. That's a lure. If you see somebody struggling, that's because the Lord got them struggling. So you trying to go work against the Lord. Helping Goes you. Michelangelo. Hey, let, hey, let me read this for you, bro. You're going to like this. You're going to like this, man. Hey, what's up, Michelangelo? <laughs> he responded. I'm smoking cigarettes. I never thought I was smoking, drinking. Yeah, yeah. I was supposed to meet my girl out here, and um, had to stood me up because I stood her up. Like, yeah. They good at that. Yeah. <laughs> There's a picture right here. This is uh. I believe you. Uh, Tobit. This all John. You gotta read it. Tobit uh, four and seventeen. Pour out that bread on the burial of the of the just, Ooh, and give that's... nothing. To the wicked. You hear that? Mm -hmm. Read that again, bro. That's bad right there. It's, it's fading to the point. You got all these churches out here uh, passing out free food, free sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Pork sandwiches at that? Uh, yeah, that's a, yeah, the Bible said don't eat pork. They're yeah, right. The main pork thing they pass out is uh, hot dogs, uh, ham sandwiches. Because yeah, that, that's yeah, off. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? You're supposed to be eating that shit. Especially got, that bologna and hot dogs got bones mixed in it. Yeah, but I know it's moving, bro. This is uh, another scripture, uh, Tobit 2 and 2 and 2. What was that first one? I didn't catch what that first one was. Uh, I'm going to ask this bus right here. I wonder when the bus is going to line up down there. Uh, what's, what time is it now? It's like 9 now? Uh, it's 8.48. It's 8.48. Thank you. They line up around. Uh, I only say it real quick. Uh, that's two different it's YouTube channels thing. right there. The I'll first one. This later. Get this later. Cut back week. on. Oh uh, yeah. Gonna get my phone get cut, cut back on anything I want to find. It. Yeah. Oh, get, let me read this real quick again before the bus comes. Oh, the this is a uh, Tobit four battery, and seventeen. Battery down two percent. Eight forty eight. I better get over to the bus now. Go ahead. I'll man. read this real quick. Tobit four and seventeen. Pour out that bread on the burial of the of the just. Just. But give nothing to the wicked. That's, that's a righteous, righteous man, man, a godly man. You know what I'm saying? That's the just. The just ain't um, Nino Brown trying to sell you uh, uh, an eight ball of cocaine. Okay. <laughs> I gotta find out what's going on. All right. All right. Well, you got hours and hours of videos to watch, unlimited. You are insane. Really? That's how you know you're doing the work. Yeah. When you got hours and hours of videos. Well, not just our videos, because he watched our videos. Oh, yeah. Shame, though. He didn't want to come down here either. He didn't want to come down. I gotta get over here. Oh yeah, he sure sounds good coming up there. He's coming back off and got on the boat. That I wrapped it with everything. Read that again. Oh, you already... Oh, we got another one. Okay, okay, okay. Tobit, two and two. And when I saw abundance of meat, I said to my son, go and bring what poor man, go go and bring what poor man, so ever thou shalt find out of our brethren, brethren, who is mindful of the Lord. Oh, who is mindful of the Lord? That's just like Matthew 12. Hey, get that Matthew 12. Uh, oh, you already got some, I'll just quote it. In Matthew 12, uh, you know where it's at, the end, he says, who's my brother, my sister, because people always try to say we're all brothers and sisters. That's a uh, that's bullshit. 
Yeah. He, he's fa a faggot is not my brother, okay? Yeah. And a, a, an adulterous whore is not my sister. You know? Okay? A crackhead is not my mother. Okay? Sorry. He got more goddamn Muslims. Look at them bitches. That's what we in fucking Iraq and fucking Saudi Arabia. Fucking so many, got, so many goddamn Muslims. Oh, they they gonna try to implement some goddamn <laughs> Sharia law. <laughs> I mean, start women. They gonna make yeah, y'all, y'all women over here. Yeah, no problem with Muslims. But if these Muslims had their way with you, they would make all you women get circumcised, mm. cut your clits off. Stupid ass people. <laughs> That's what a Muslim brings. They actually do that. You know that. They cut they, over there in some parts in the Middle East and certain uh, branches of Islam, they circumcise their women. Cut off their clit so that she can't feel any pleasure when she has sex. That's some evil shit for you. That's evil. That, that's uh, mutilating the body. You ain't supposed to do that. I do this, uh, it's been like actual, uh, this hand fight bitch, but she was actually You know that scripture that's toward the bottom. It's like the last two. Two and three in the chapter. Matthew 12. Or so up or something. Oh, you got that? Oh, it is pretty long, man. It's all the way to the bottom. Oh, yeah, okay. This is 12 and 48. But he answered and said unto him that told him, Who is my mother and who are my brother? Let me, let me start up a little That's higher. what, that's, yeah, because, all right, go ahead, yeah. Get, so it gives a better explanation. Yeah. Year. Um, some weird bitches on the clothes, man. Uh, 12 and 46. While he yet talked to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood without uh, desiring to speak with him. Then one said unto him, behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without desiring to speak with thee. But he answered. Yeah, because his actual mom and his actual brothers and stuff was out there. And this is what this what this is who the Lord said his brothers and sisters are. Read that. But the Lord answered and said. It said the Lord answered. So this is the Lord talking. Keep going. And said unto him that told him, Who is my mother, and who are my brethren? And he stretched forth his hand toward his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren. For whosoever shall do the will of the Father, which is in heaven, the same is my brother and my sister and mother. That's yeah, so, right so uh, yeah, like That's you fair. said, so uh, an adulterer is not my brother, okay? A Hindu and a Muslim, that's not my brother. And that's clear. You just like a brother would do it. Because y'all y'all ain't my brothers and sisters. Y'all, y'all, yeah, y'all wicked. Y'all are evil. It was funny, huh? They didn't like you get a good laugh. Yeah, they like that. It tickles good back. I mean, cause you can't take a bitch serious it anyway. Tickles good you know what I mean? Christmas tree, yeah. Right, right. Right, they got the Christmas tree. Because we can prove to them beyond a shadow of a doubt that Christmas is pagan. Actually, most people know that. They still celebrate. Still celebrate. So what does that tell you? You know what I'm saying? It's their pride to keep their pride. Plus, they don't want to be different. They're, they're afraid to. They, yeah, they're afraid to, to depart from the flock or, or the cattle, I should say. Well, actually, because yeah, we should call them cattle, not the sheep. Yeah, we're the sheep. You finish with that COVID too? Yeah. I, I got a scripture back. Uh, Where you at? Where you at? You got I, got, I got a key. You got the same. One. You got the same one I had. It's a spirit, bro. You got the same scripture. <laughs> okay. Uh, when thou wilt do. Good, know to whom thou doest it, so shalt thou be thanked for thy benefits. Do good. Oh yeah, cause right, cause most people they only do good cause they only like these churches. They only passing out food just so uh, people will think they're godly. Think it's like a form of godliness. That's that doesn't make you godly, man. Sure, sure. Oh, go ahead. Oh. When thou uh, do good to the godly man, and thou shalt find a recompense, and if not from him, 
Yep, from the most hub. Yeah, so you know you supposed you're not supposed to help a sinner, you're supposed to help a godly man. Keep going. There can no good come to him that is always occupied in evil. Right. So we ain't just saying we ain't gonna help nobody just because they don't believe in the Lord. Well first we're gonna try to teach you. But if we know that you are a repeat offender, if you're a repeat offender, and we know there's no hope for you, we ain't fucking with you. We ain't helping you. We don't want to even talk to you or look at you. You surely ain't gonna give you no money. Why that damn devil asked us for a dollar earlier? He ain't gonna give you shit. I, I ain't got no dollar either. I wouldn't give you none if I had it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I'm give you shit. I'll give you a goddamn thing. Kiss my ass. I'll give you some advice, man. Yeah, tell you to go to hell. Get the fuck out of my face. Yeah, get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're not helping you. We don't, we don't like you. Yeah, let's read that again, though, man, because there's no good to somebody. Read that again. There's always a... There can no good come to him that is always occupied in evil. So you've always hanging out with the two-thirds, tuning all the time, having rap freestyle battles, getting drunk. I got my drink. Like them over there. Yeah. Got sipping on syrup and all that other bullshit. Look, there's no good come to a person like that. You always hanging out and you see how Jake be on the corner. They be rolling like 20 deep. They just sound like a pack of wild jackals or hyenas. Half of them on strapped. The corner. Yeah, they all strapped, but half of them strapped. They're going to have a dice game. Someone get shot in the dice game. Over $2. Over $2. No, I'm speaking from shit we know about. Right, someone right, actually right. got shot. Someone, he, my brother know, got shot for $2 in the dice game. $2. Dead. Gone. You can find, you can find $2 in change. It's so cool. Right. There's, no, there's nothing good that's going to happen if somebody's always occupying the evil. That's why every time there's a big house party or something, something bad happens. Every time. Every time it don't never fail. Something bad, seriously fucking bad happens. Someone gets shot, cops get called, someone go to jail. You know what I'm saying? Somebody get robbed. So some, uh somebody's little baby drowned in the pool at a birthday party. Everybody's here in Columbus, you see that baby got his head blew off. Yep. It happens all the time. You always you always hear about uh Somebody having a big old birthday party and the little children getting their head blown off or something. Drowning in the pool. Drowning in the pool. Mm -hmm. So everything is, every, because when y'all partying, the whole time you're partying and drinking, the thoughts of the most high ain't never wearing in your, nowhere in your mind. Oh, here we go. Let me get this one. And just when you least suspect it, and right at that point of laughter, that the, the, the pinnacle of your laughter and your party, that's when that destruction comes. And a goddamn semi truck crashes through your front door and just run. You heard about the uh, FedEx? They said a FedEx oh, crashed into a school bus. They said that motherfucker didn't even hit his brakes. <laughs> they said it was on fire before it hit it. Damn. That was the most hottest. And I heard a Fed, that FedEx trucks be fucking shit up. <laughs> Another FedEx truck crashed through someone's house here in Columbus, right through the house while the dude was watching TV. Last night. Always on truck, time. Not a FedEx, but a UPS. Always on time. Yesterday, a UPS truck hit. Um, uh, a, a transformer on their property and knocked all, all the prop, all the all the power to the building. That's beautiful. That's Too bad it ain't. I wish they'd catch some shit on fire too. Hey, hey, so I was gonna read that. Yeah. Huh? I know Nor to him that giveth no alms, give to the godly man and help not yeah, cause a you, sinner. Yeah, because you have the the bun, You know the people always asking you for something. They, they, they're the same person who wants you to help them all the time. They'll never help you when they have something. You know what I mean? This is a no good bastard. That's the type of people we're dealing with. That's actually the majority of our people. Two thirds of Israel got that mentality. You know what I'm saying? Y'all always taking, never giving. Uh, go ahead. Ecclesiastic is 41 and 8. Woe be unto you, ungodly men, which have forsaken the law of the Most High God. Right, because all these people talk about is get money, get money. You get on the internet, all the different sites, you look at people's pro profiles, all they talk about is getting money. Okay? And actually, that's retarded, especially because you see our black people, they be on the website, they got dollar bills in their hands, and Benjamin Franklin's, and all, all these dead, they call them dead presidents. Presidents that had your ass in slavery. 
because uh, George Washington, he, he, he had hundreds of slaves. He's on a one dollar bills with a gun. Yeah, he, he's on a one dollar bill, the most the most used piece of money, and he's on a quarter. You know what I'm saying? You, can't, you gotta see that motherfucker every where you every day you gotta look at George Washington's ass. Every day you gotta see that motherfucker. Some people are stupid. Man. Go ahead. They foolish. They fool. They retarded. For if ye increase, it shall be to your destruction. And if ye be born, ye shall be born to a curse. And if ye die, a curse shall be your portion. Increasing in wealth. Curse. You know what? Motherfucker increasing in wealth, especially in Israel. You know he ain't gonna come out of Israel. Hell no. Both sides the last thing on this motherfucker. That's the last thing on this motherfucker. A real motherfucker, that if you had a lot of money and you was really real with it, Brother, man, we can do something with that money. Yeah, you can do something with that money. I want me a new computer, man. Yeah, I want me a super fast laptop. Right. Desktop. Yeah, yeah, I need some like 64-bit dual core shit. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? I need some new shit. I need some money to go build some new motherfuckers. I, I need at least eight gigabytes of RAM. <laughs> it's like that. Do you really want to help? <laughs> Step up our game, get us a good, a real studio. That's what we need, man. But we do. I can't afford that shit. I know, man. I'm goddamn near homeless. Seriously. I'm like, I'm a bum. The people, you can call me a bum. On the, I miss that, having a studio, man. I do. Yeah. We used to make some house. I gotta get a new mic. I don't have a fucking microphone now. My microphone's fucked up. I can't make house videos. You gotta use a camcorder or some shit. Go ahead with that. What you got? Ecclesiasticus 41 and 10. All of that are of the earth shall turn to earth again. Look at them bitch on camera. Look at them fools. Go ahead, read that for me. Ecclesiasticus 41 and 10. All of that are of the earth shall turn to earth again. So the ungodly shall go from a curse to destruction. The scripture says, she that liveth in pleasure while she liveth is dead on earth. Oh, that's yeah. bad. Her you know what I'm will fail. Too. Oh, yeah, bitch's bitches will fail. Oh, yeah, ashes to ashes, dust, dust bitch. <laughs> you, you, it, these bitches, yeah, all they care about is their looks. You know what I'm saying? All they care about is yeah. when you gonna grow old and drop dead any damn way. It's a bitch, what else should she be caring about? See how pretty your face is when you 80 damn years old. You know? I see how pretty your face is when it got worms coming out the eyes. See how pretty you are then. You know. Hey, man, when he hit, he hit oh yeah, oh yeah, when the missiles hit. <laughs> when the missiles hit, yeah, you ain't gonna be you gonna be looking like those. You're gonna be vapor. Uh, uh, you gonna be dust. Because it's it's it kinda so well look like those motherfuckers that had lepers that walked down the street. Oh, yeah, they kinda look like they was damn close to some chemical shit. Some chemical plant. So I don't even give a fuck if a bitch look old great anymore. All I care is she's halfway decent and don't talk talk all that nigga shit. Wash all that, ass. Yeah, yeah. Talking all that hood shit. I ain't trying to hear that shit no more. You know what I mean? That neck hey, popping. motor. Neck popping, rolling eyes and shit. Maybe it wasn't pushing. Yeah, I ain't trying to. I'm talking about I'm a boss lady. Shit, that shit. Like there goes Scully and Scully. Or motor and Scully. You say Scully? It was motor and Scully. Try to pop your fucking neck. Right, right, right. Yeah, that bitch is dumb, man. They're stupid. Yeah, I ain't fucking with none of these hood bitches, man. I'm straight. Yeah, I have my shit. I have my left shit right now. I'm gonna be a rich ass white bitch. Just got some money. I'm on one of these bitches, period. Here you go. Check it out. This is First Timothy five and six. But she that liveth in pleasure, sure. Sure, sure is dead while she liveth. Where's that again? Read that again. This is 1 Timothy 5 and 6. But she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. That, that sums up the American woman to a T. Oh, just like, just like uh, that, uh, that old song, classic rock song, who, by Guess Who? American woman, stay away from me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, you heard yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, don't come rock and knock on my door. I don't want to see your face no more. <laughs> yeah, that's how he knew that the American woman was way off. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's that shit. I do too. remember that song. Lenny, that song. Lenny Kravitz covered it. Yeah, he did a remake. 
That's a pretty. He was on point like a like, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. The Puffin musicians, they travel the world, oh, and they know the nastiest hoes on the planet right here. Up in this nasty, this filthy fucking right here, place. Yeah. It's the nastiest, cool. filthiest whores are right here. The, right here. the goddamn whores in Thailand are cleaner than these bitches. I'm talking about actual prostitutes are, are more clean than these hoes over here. I was here. watching this documentary on porn stars, and this one porn star said, I gotta keep doing this, but I know eventually I'm gonna lose lose all functions of my ass. <laughs> you know? You can't I'm gonna lose all bitch, functions of my ass. Yeah, eventually bitches it might kill me. They got videos on YouTube bitches shitting themselves. Just out of they can't control it. Yeah, they been fucking the ass so much that's that's what, it just happened. come out. Yep. And that happened to the package too. Yep. Yep. Same thing happened to the package. They so attracted to their pleasure and their money, man. That she knows she's gonna lose all functions permanently eventually. Or it's gonna kill her, but they can't they can't. But they are so high on cocaine and yeah, right, uh, right. fucking heroin. Whatever, pills, whatever they're doing. Pain kill, they, they stiff and pills. They, they crush the pills down and sniff them. And I see a lot they of shoot them up. They shoot up, shoot the pills up, stick them in their ass. That's a popular thing with sticking. I heard uh, people telling me they stuck ecstasy pills up their ass. Now your boy Chuck, you remember Chuck? He said he stuck them up his ass. That wasn't and my boy, just, that was your well, boy. You know, <laughs> Because there's only one layer of uh, membrane that's in the ass. That's why it absorbs so much quicker, man. <laughs> and only medical students that's up in these motherfucking universities that figure that shit out. They had it. These medical oh, students. Oh, hold up. They got a new fad now, though. It's uh, snorting vodka. Have you heard that? No, no. That's the new thing on college campuses. Well, he already got the butt chugging where they take the... Uh, that funnels or whatever, and they pour, uh, they, they, they pour liquor in your ass. That's how stupid these people are. But, here, don't you? but now at the bars, they selling uh, droplets where you can uh, take droplets of vodka and sniff it up your nose. That's fucking they said people just pass out right on the spot. They probably love it, man. Man, wake up like, whoa, dude. Right, <laughs> Probably get raped while they passed out. Yep. It's just yep. amazing. Exactly. And wasn't that here on campus? Was that here when the, the dude passed out? Of, we made a video on it. Dude got ill, stuck up his ass when he passed no, out. No, I think that was here. Yeah. I think that was here when I can't remember. Yep. Dude passed out his part, and, his, and his friends has got their roommate stuck ills up his ass. And then he died. Yep, and he died. Stuck ills in his ass. You no, know, that ill was probably eating all his flesh. Oh, that's side. crazy. Is that an electric ill? That's crazy. I don't know. Uh, eel, period. Yeah, yeah that's gone. Eel. That sounds scary. A eel. <laughs> a eel don't, uh, the name itself sounds like something you should keep away from. Right. But it's a, 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 it a popular <laughs> thing where that's I was. Eel. <laughs> I was reading. Uh, yeah, the Chinese people eat cats and dogs. They eat anything. Yeah, that Chinese food up in the, that's just crap. Right. No, they love that shit. Eels and dogs shit, man. Cats. That's not chicken. Oh. Dogs are eating. Octopus and squid. Shit. Yeah. Octopus and nah, squid. No, but you know the rich people, they take a, uh, I was reading a, a Led, uh, you know Led Zeppelin, the rock and roll band, right? I was reading a, a book on Led Zeppelin, and they said uh, the Jimmy Page would have a party, and he was uh, get a jacuzzi with a hot tub, and he put an octopus up in there. And then an octopus would like suck on the, the bitch's pussies in the, on your dick. What? Uh, suck with that suction. Yeah, with the suction. Yeah. Like and they actually said they had me there in the hot tub with an octopus tentacles going all up, sucking That's on That's some abomination <laughs> shit. <laughs> and, I mean, they got witnesses. Everybody said I'm they... Right. You said yeah. it, dude. I know you ain't they, making it But up. they say people still do it. It's a popular thing among rock stars. Oh. That's some abominable you shit. You get some octopuses up in the hot tub with you. That's some abominable shit. Man, I need because the octopus beak ain't no tentacle. I don't know, yeah. man. It's scary. They don't get bad. Esau don't care. I mean... This motherfucker, he'll have sex with anything. He don't care if you kill him, or bite his dick off. That damn beak to an octopus. That shit like a fucking goddamn, uh, like a bird. It's designed to cut straight up. Yeah, straight, dead shot. Ah, damn. He's all weird like that, too. Like, sexual anger. Well, you got that famous video on YouTube. Well, there's, there's certain types of octopus in uh, squid. Oh, some yeah. are more uh, violent. Some I'm, are just sorry, uh, Esau. Also a sick. Sorry, Esau researched that yeah, one. Right, okay. you know oh, that's yeah. right. You know that's right. Yeah, because there's many things. Is that you know, going? Most high bad, man. Most high made. 
different kind of cats, different kind of dogs. Hell, look at the nations of the earth. Different nations of the earth, and one of his, and one is his favorite Israel. <laughs> you know, that, different birds. I think those are the Bible. Y'all see them, the white people? That I they, see them. They, they, walk, walk they just walk by us. Yeah. They scared of us. They, they, maybe he built us some courage yeah. and gonna come back. Awesome. Maybe he went, took a shot, and he's like, I got some courage now. Let's go. Awesome. Oh, that's a different people. That's somebody different. Oh, it is? He, he in a suit, too. Uh, they all look the same to me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, hey, all look like a bunch of pasty bastards. What would that be? The first person, white. Yeah, yeah. Like, 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 You know, according to the Holy Bible, God's going to destroy America by fire. Y'all ain't know that, did you? Y'all know America's about to be destroyed? You know y'all gonna be destroyed? What do you have? Yeah, that's what the they won't even know what the fuck a gun is. You got a rope around. It's like a noose around your neck. Yeah, that's what they want to do. Yeah, a dick noose. You got a dick there. Part of that uh, tie is that you like with the court. It's like telling the judge down. You're under subjection. Yeah, because that ain't that one part of the principles. Laying the casket with some shit around your neck. Like it's a noose. noose. Oh, an actual noose. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the pretense is good, don't you? Yeah, so that's, so that's, actual yeah, oh, yeah, they put a, exactly they put a noose around your neck yeah. when you, they put a noose around your neck, and then they make you uh, expose your chest, and they put a knife to your heart. They make you swear an oath. That's my shit, that Bob Seger. Yeah, that's my shit, too. That's a good, yeah. You know, Bob Seger, an Israelite. If you didn't know that, you're retarded. Okay? I just had to say it for the record. Yeah, from Detroit, boy. Detroit looking like a desert wasteland now. Yeah, I know. You got wild yeah. animals and shit. They said you got wild packs of dogs running around just eating people. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Attacking motherfuckers. Hey, hey, that's, hey, that's scriptural. Hey, that is scriptural. That's it. I'm going to get that. That's a, what was that, Leviticus 19? It's been a long time since I brought that out. Let me get that Leviticus, boy. Wild and a wild beast after these wicked son of a bitches. After the ungodly. Yo, Esau, what's up, Esau? Yeah, he, he, he look like a young Bill Gates. <laughs> Bill Gates is a big faggot. Big faggot. Scamming everybody on Windows XP. So y'all should, if y'all should. see that Windows XP got, they said protection now? Yeah, they cut it off the updates. That's a scam. What's up with that? Because now they're making the government pay millions of dollars to update their computers. Like the IRS has a bunch of XP computers. So they got to pay Microsoft millions to get the new updates. It's a scam. You know what I mean? It's a way to get squeeze more money out of it. Y'all better use Linux. Yeah, this, I like them hoes. Look at them bitches. The bitches. Hoes and bitches. We didn't, you notice he did not say, look at those nice young ladies over there. Uh -oh. Bitch looking like Pocahontas. I mean, they dress like Pocahontas, bitches, so. Oh. Yeah, I'd like to get me a Pocahontas. A real, no. a real Pocahontas. I can't even see. I need my light. I can't breathe. Yeah. <laughs> Where is that uh, scripture? I gotta find it. I do like. I'm always looking for new games to play. I love my little tool. Oh my god, look at it. Come on, smoke. Hey, hold up. You know what? I'm gonna just read this real quick while, since I grazed the pump. I just seen it. <coughs> Leviticus 19 and 29. Let me start at 28. Actually, let me start. You know what? Gosh. Look at this. Look at all these scriptures. Let me start at 26. I could read this whole chapter. Yeah. There's so many good points. Out. Leviticus 19. I meant to get a different chapter. I got the wrong chapter, but this has got so much good stuff. You know, just read this. It says, You shall not eat anything with the blood, neither shall you use enchantment nor observe times. Observing times, talking about astrology. Okay. Uh, you, got, you got all these women 
like certain what like a lot of women won't even deal with you unless you uh fall under the correct astrological sign <laughs> you know what i'm saying if you ain't compatible with her sign she probably ain't gonna fuck with you what did they ask you in the first meeting what's your sign well you get on bitches uh internet pages and they have their sign all big like i'm a pisces and all this dumb shit yeah, who gives a shit? Uh, ye shall not round the corners of your head, neither shall thou mar the corners of thy beard. So the, according to the Bible, you're, you're not supposed to shave your beard off. But in America, most, most jobs will not even hire you if you have a beard. Because to be successful in America, you gotta be a faggot. You gotta shave your beard off, look like a little boy. If you if you show any signs of manliness, you're frowned upon. A threat. Yeah, you're a threat is what it is. That's what it really is. You're right, it's a threat. They don't like that shit. They, they don't like men acting like men. That's why they push the, the doctrine of homosexuality. They pushing that LGBT bullshit everywhere you go. LGBT equals filth. That's what that is. And that turn other cheek shit too. Yeah, everything's about being a soft, by being a brony. That's why you got bronies now. You got an actual thing called a brony, which is a, a a man who wears pink and watches My Little Pony. You see all these, you see multiple men today wearing pink shirts. What kind of faggot shit is that? You got grown ass men wearing pink shirts and tight ass pants. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you people? Pink shirts and tight ass pants. But they're making a uh, fashion statement by doing that. Though. Yeah. They let you know something. They're faggots. It's like Kanye West, that faggot piece of shit, motherfucker. Always wearing some tight ass pants. Wearing a little ass, carrying a purse. You right. get. Oh, she, she, she's videos on. She's a, uh, what's that called? A sperm bank. 